Okay then, so now we have our different quote cards listed here. It would be quite nice if we could have like a little delete icon on each card when if we click on that icon, it's going to delete that quote from the data. So thereby update the UI so we don't see that. So how are we going to do this? Well, first of all, let's add on like a little delete icon to each of the cards. So we need to come to our quote card file into the card template first of all. And then we'll do this at the bottom after the last text. So first of all, I'm going to do a sized box just to give me a little bit of space and this is going to have a height of 8 pixels and then after that we'll do a flat button we've seen this in the past and we'll say dot icon to have an icon on that button as well so inside here we need first of all an on pressed property which is going to be ultimately a function that deletes our data so when they click on that we're going to delete it and then under that we need also a label property which will be the text so we need a text widget and then that will say delete quote and then finally we need the icon and that will be an icon widget and this is going to be a delete icon so we'll say icons dot delete okay so if we preview this now we should see a little delete quote button on each of these things over here so what I'd like to happen is that when we click on one of these, it deletes that quote. So we need to write that functionality into this on pressed property, right? This function. However, there's a little problem with this. Our data doesn't exist inside this stateless widget. So from here, we can't actually directly modify that data. We can't delete it. We can only modify that data where the data is defined inside this state object. So we could delete it from here but not directly from this function. So the way around this is to pass into this class right here, a second parameter, which will be a delete function. So we can define that function over here where we pass it in. We're going to pass that parameter in that function, and then we can just invoke that function right here. So let's try this. First of all, what I'm going to do is just cut this and then open this up onto a new line. Then I can paste that in the quotes. And what I'd like to do now is use a second parameter and we can call this what we want. I'm going to call it delete since that's what we're going to do. We're going to delete one of these quotes and this is going to be equal to a function that will pass through to this new quote. So inside this delete function, all we want to do is set the state, right? So let's do that. We'll say set state and then inside this, we need to pass through another function and then in here, all we want to do is remove a quote from the quotes list right here. Now we can do that using the remove method. So I'll say quotes, which is the list dot remove. And then we need to pass in whatever quote we want to remove. So that will be the quote that we receive right here. OK, so let us now receive this delete parameter inside the constructor. So I'll go over to quote card again and over here I'm going to say this dot delete now we need to also define that property over here again this is going to be final because it's a stateless widget it's a function because we declare the type first remember and then it's called delete so what we're now doing is actually defining the function over here this is the function that we're passing through as a parameter into this class over here and we're storing it now in this thing so if we now on press of one of these refer to that delete function it's actually going to run this code here in this file where we can't actually alter the data we can use set state to remove a quote does that make sense we're just passing the function through as a parameter so let's now down here say okay well let's call the delete function that's all we're doing so if we save this now and then we try this let's try deleting this middle one and it works they go delete this one it goes delete this one it goes now to see that data again we need to restart the app or hot restart rather so i'm going to click on this and then we get the data back if you want to play around with it again okay so there we go my friends that's how we can pass functions as arguments into other widgets now, I think we've gone as far as we can go with this Flutter app. So I think in the next video, what we're going to do is start our next app, the biggie, and that is going to be the World Time app.